Hi friends, it's me, Professor Hans von Puppet, back again for another day of editing at YouTube Space LA on the Big MacGuffin. We're getting close here, guys. This is going to be very exciting, but it does take a lot of time and a lot of uh, hours, literally, of exporting and rendering and all that before you could even see. I just saw it. It's pretty good. It's got some... It, I can see where it's going to go. Anyway, anyway, that's not what the video is really about today. I just wanted to kind of share a little perspective with you. I was driving down here today on the 405 and yesterday, and uh, the 405 freeway in Los Angeles is one of the busiest freeways in the world. Apparently, the intersection of the 405 and the 10 gets over 8 million vehicles through it every day. Now, you look around at these things and you think, wow, this is uh, a lot of cars here. But what you forget is that uh, all those cars also represent people. And in every one of these vehicles, there is somebody driving. There's somebody who ate breakfast this morning, who's going somewhere. There's someone who has a birthday this year and who is trying to figure out what to do for Halloween. You know, they, they want things and they buy things and they went to high school probably. And they are, you know, they, they have entire lives that we will never know anything about. Who are all these people? Where are they going? They all have lives as interesting and complex and challenging and important as mine. You get a thing called road rage in Los Angeles when there's traffic and you're worried that you're never going to get to where you're going. And you, But I find a great cure for it is to just try to imagine all of those people. And you don't have to picture the details of all of them, but just think there is a human soul piloting each one of these vehicles. For now, until Elon Musk takes over with his robot cars. There was a character in a Kurt Vonnegut novel, a couple of them actually, named Rabo Karabikian, who was an artist, who was a really good artist, but he got famous by just rollering paint on giant canvases and sticking vertical stripes of electrical tape on them. Now, this is meant to be mostly satirical about what kind of art gets famous and what happens to artists and all that. But at one point in one of these books, the artist actually explains what he's going for. Like there'd be a giant uh, turquoise canvas with five vertical stripes of white tape on it. And it's called something like a uh, family of deer at a clearing. Or there'd be like one stripe and it would say, you know, the resurrection of John the Baptist or something. He explains this later on saying that when he looks at a person, all he sees is their soul. Like he doesn't really see the details about them, doesn't really see their features, doesn't really see how much money they have, but he just sees them as a soul, like a beam of light that is shooting through them to the center of the earth and up to the heavens. And every person, that is just how he saw them. It's a vertical stripe of light. When I drive around Los Angeles, and I see millions of people, millions of cars, I just sort of picture that, that vertical stripe of light shooting through all of these cars. And it just makes me realize that they are all human beings just like me. They are people deserving of compassion and uh, empathy and everything else. And, uh, I don't know, it makes uh, the traffic a little bit uh, easier to deal with. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching my videos. I'll try to make one every day this month for Vlogtoberfest, even if they are just something like this, which is actually not that bad. All right, be sure to like and subscribe and all that jazz. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow.